So hi everyone and welcome. The images that you are watching on your screen, they are not a real people. They are just the images generated with the help of Midjourney. That is an AI tool which helps you to create an image from a written text. And in this video, we are going to explore that how Midjourney imagines different girls from India that too with a different states and whether it is uh, able to understand of different culture of India, different outfits of India, different face structures of India uh, in terms of different states or not. So let us just be, uh, begin. Now, before uh, starting, uh, I will I want to tell you that I will bring you to the journey starting from the bad prompt to the improved prompt. I will also tell you that what mistakes I did and uh, how the image uh, got improved and how Midjourney was able to understand what exactly I wanted to tell it. So let us just begin. So this is Discord app, app and and the upper right corner there is a in uh, it is uh, this is the symbol which is called inbox. When you click over it, it will uh, come up with entire history of images that you have generated from past a week. So this was the first prompt. So I just gave a prompt that award-winning photography, attractive Indian women of Gujarat state. Now here I just now I just wanted a picture of one woman. Now instead of W O M A N, I put E in between M and N. So it understood that I want mul uh, images of multiple women. So it came up with this result. So when I click on jump, it will bring me to those images that are generated. So this was the result, but definitely it is not a Gujarati girl or women uh, and they are the different. Uh, so it is a different result. OK, so let us see how I improved the prompt. So when I uh, change my spelling, this was the result. Again, the result is not so good. OK, uh, so I mean that image is very beautiful, but the face of the woman is not of Gujarati. Definitely it is not from award winning portrait photography. I just typed portrait photography of an attractive Indian woman in Gujarati outfit, eye level shot. So the camera is from eye, uh, at the eye level when you are uh, taking a photograph. So that's also possible. I also mentioned the for camera at the lens and F 2.8 also in the prompt. Yeah, that also can be done. You can also provide that particular detailed prompt. So I changed uh, my prompt little bit. So attractive Indian woman in Gujarati outfit wearing Bindi and Sindur. Okay. So it was not previously I uh, included in my prompt. So I searched on Google that what outfits uh, the Gujarati girl or Gujarati women generally wear. So Bindi and Sindur, eye level shot. So I provided with uh, uh, included Bindi and Sindur in my prompt. So this was the result, but it is not satisfactory. The face cut is not definitely not a Gujarati girl. So I tried to include Gujarati face in Gujarati outfit. Now this started improving that the face cut uh, like started looking as if they are of Indian, but definitely not of a Gujarati girl's face. So in the next prompt, I removed Indian woman and I just, I just written attractive Gujarati woman having the Gujarati face and all this that. And yeah, so this is the, this was also the mistake. It is written over here 19 by nine. It should be 16 by nine. Definitely it is not wrong, but you can see that some upper portion of the image is being cut down. So that's why 16 by 9 is a good ratio. It's like when you rotate your phone like this. So that's called the ratio of 16 by 9. And this is 9 by 16 ratio. So uh, it should be 16 by 9 over here. So when I removed Indian and just written Gujarati woman. So it literally started looking up as if it is a Gujarati girl. Let me just open it in browser. So yeah, it is, a, so this face somewhat looks like a Gujarati girl, right? So uh, it started appearing like a Gujarati girl. Uh, let us just move on next one. So I started working on a, a face of Tamil and this was the first result. Definitely it is not uh, looking like a Tamil one. So uh, this was the prompt portrait of an attractive Tamil woman. So instead of Gujarati, I just written Tamil woman and having Tamil face, Tamil outfit, wearing mala and bindi, a nature in background shot on this camera, happy aspect ratio again wrong, stylized 500. Now what is stylized? Stylized is something that it allows you to have a good command over your prompt. 
So if you want your image more to be adhered to your prompt, you should have a low stylized value. And if you want your image, uh, if you want mid journey to be more creative, so it will be creative and it will, it will create interesting outputs by thinking more learning of its own. Another thing is stylized row. If you want to generate more beautiful images, definitely you should include this parameter in your prompt. So next, I tried to put some image from Google and I tried to modify that image. Why? Because I wanted a face cut of uh, a Tamil woman. So uh, this was the result, but uh, that should not be done. Mid journey should be able to think on its own. So definitely uh, I experimented these things uh, two or three times. Uh, then I realized that, okay, uh, this should not be the case. Then I uploaded one image in mid journey. And I also, I tried to reverse engineer the image that what prompt should I provide to get this kind of result. Okay. So uh, that's how I improved my prompt. I also search many things on Google, like uh, what Tamil or what Karelian girl wears, what are the outfits, what is called in English, because I wanted to provide everything in prompt and I wanted uh, mid journey to think and generate the results accordingly. Okay. So I want exit, I wanted exit results. So next prompt cinematic photography. So from portrait, I switched to cinematic photography of attractive woman uh, of the country, India. Again, I included country in my prompt of state Gujarat, uh, having Gujarati face cut and Gujarati outfit. So face cut was a new thing, uh, in my uh, prompt. So again, it was just a Gujarati, uh, face. So Gujarati face cut in. Gujarati outfit wearing nose ring, sindoor, lamp black, uh, earrings, yellow and blue sari. All these things I provided in my prompt. Chandan Har, nature in background, shot on this camera. Apart from that, everything was uh, same as previous. And now I also changed this 16 by 9. That is a correct aspect ratio. Uh, stylized 300 so that it thinks more closely to our prompt. So it can be varied from 1 to 1000. Okay, so 1000 is like highly creative and zero or one is more adhered to your prompt. So mid journey is creating exactly what you are writing in your text. Style and uh, stylized row and version 5.2 that is correct. So this was the result. Okay. So now it's like, uh, like yellow and blue. Sorry. Yeah, everything is correct. But again, the face cut is not of a Gujarati face. So again, uh, I provided Gujarati facial structure and then this image was a literally uh, of a Gujarati face cut. Now let us open just this in browser. I searched many things for uh, to generate these kind of images like how beautiful girls in India, 10 Indian cities that, uh, have, that are having most beautiful girls. So this image is not real, but it literally like it's as if you are uh, looking at a Gujarati girl. So this is a very beautiful image and I like it very much. So uh, like Midjourney is very good at understanding uh, what you are saying so everything is, the mistake is from our end so if we provide a good prompt we can have the result what we want i also search that what is the facial cut is told uh, technically so it's called facial morph morphology so i also tried to include morphology in my prompt and it also came up with some amazing results then i search for like a karelian girl so first result was definitely was not good so because why uh i like what I did wrong was white sari and red blouse and lamp black and all that thing. So I just added one or two elements and just changed the state. So first result was not good. Then I added uh, this, what's it called? It is called, uh, yeah, flower garland. It's called gajra. So I searched what is gajra is called in English. Then I added this in from my prompt and then I literally generated this image. Okay. So again, uh, like some kind of similar phase of from Canada, but not exact. Cinematic for photography attractive girl of uh, Telugu. So this was the first result of Telugu. Cinematic photography attractive girl. Punjabi facial structure. Uh, blue sari and ornament. So again, I was not satisfied with the result that I'm trying so much things. And I'm not getting exactly what I wanted. But then I just, uh, when I tired, I just entered the prompt Punjabi girl. Because I tried many things and exact outfit was not, uh, I was not able to get it from the mid journey. I, and I just, I entered Punjabi girl and this was the result. So uh, like if you search on Google about Punjabi girl or Punjabi woman, see this kind of out, uh, outfit uh, you will have as a result. So, okay. So like she is wearing something on their head. I don't know what exactly it's told, but yeah. Uh, so 
this kind of outfit i started to uh, have as a result from mid journey then i just search punjabi girl nature in background shot on this camera happy and aspect ratio then this beautiful uh, result uh, i was able to get this see, she's a cute little girl again this is a cute little girl and this is some kind of punjabi facial structure is also there now the this is the mistake what we are doing we are providing so much in the prawn that you are like literally making mid journey to be confused just entering a simple prompt solved my problem i started getting the exact prompt what i wanted another prompt i just switched from punjabi to kerala so kerala young beautiful girl nature in background on this camera happy aspect ratio perfect again a very cute little girls uh, but uh, definitely a facial structure like keralian girl okay uh, we will also see this in uh, like let us just uh, open right now so this is a very cute little girl from kerala see very beautiful and realistic image so these are not a real people just an ai generated images how beautiful is this how cool uh, this thing is yeah so next from kashmiri young girl so the kashmiri facial morphology or kashmiri facial structure i i entered nothing but just by entering a region kashmir in my prompt it gave me this result okay how beautiful is this next mumbai young attractive girl bandstand in background so bandra bandstand is there in mumbai so i tried to try to enter but it not uh, it didn't understood but definitely it just switched see this is the kashmiri outfit right and this is these are the outfit of mumbai so i didn't entered like outfit in my prompt and it just came up with a very beautiful results you just see these images as if you are like looking at a real image so these are definitely not a real girls these are just the images that i have generated from mid journey so the next prompt rajasthani young girl a young attractive girl desert in the background okay so this is so kind of this one is i think a rajasthani outfit uh, but definitely not a facial morphology of a rajasthani people so next a uh, mumbai young attractive girl a uh, mumbai beach in the background shot on the camera and everything is same now this is also the amazing result so beach is there in the background and definitely uh, our, every image is like uh, looks like a real people but they are not so these are from the Mum result from the mumbai next one is mumbai young attractive girl now i just tried to enter for experiment that instead of mumbai beach in the background i changed mumbai girl morphology okay shot on apart from that everything was same and you just see the result okay so this is a very beautiful and how much i didn't enter realistic or hyper realistic in my image but they are very beautiful and realistic hyper realistic images see uh then uh i just tried for experiment delhi young attractive girl delhi morphology and this was the result so i just wanted to tell you that don't include so much thing uh they are not necessary to include in your prompt let us just try right now that whatever i tried in the beginning was entirely not necessary to be included in the prompt let us just try this prompt uh, just a random prompt i will copy it and i will just shorten this prompt now shorten is a parameter which tells you that whatever you are writing in the prompt whether it is necessary or not or which portion of your prompt uh, is considered by mid journey and which is not so i will just hit enter so it will literally tell me that okay uh, so these are unnecessary things so photography is strike through so photography is not considered gujarati is not considered uh, sindur is not considered short sony is not considered okay so only short and prompt can be portrait attractive indian woman bindi nature in background and happy and all these things like fe uh, 24 to 7 mm lens and uh, f 2.8 so these things are considered by mid journey so so we are providing a very longer prompt which literally sometimes is not necessary sometimes you can uh, input a very simple prompt and you can get the desired result let us see the results that are generated from mid journey yeah so these are the results see this is the kashmiri this is i think mumbai rajasthan again mumbai 
uh, yeah so these are the single images that are generated from mid journey now i want everyone to comment in this video that from which city or which state you want an image from a image of a male or a female or a man or a woman uh, and what uh, things you want in the background if you can comment below this video uh, definitely i will create a new video and i will try my best to upload uh, like to create a realistic images that you can relate with now if you want to learn about more ai tools like this now this is just a scratch on the surface now ai is a very deep subject and there are many ai tools available in the market by the efficient use of that ai tools you can save your 2 hours of time per day literally and you can increase your productivity if you want to learn more about these kind of ai tools as well as the art generation mastery course you can join our workshop the link for the same is in description i hope you enjoyed this video thank you bye bye good day